Hello from Burma. If we look at the history of our amazing system of music, South Indian classical Carnatic music, we find that something extraordinary seems to have happened around two and a half centuries ago, when around the same time, but completely unrelated to each other, great great masters like Saint Tyagaraja, Sri Muthuswami Dikshitir, Maharaja Swadhirnath, Sri Shyama Shastri, so many others, they existed and composed and left amazing treasures for us at the same time. If we look at the rest of the world, we find that in the West, they had Ludwig von Beethoven, Schubert and many others who were similar and parallel to our great composers. So be it in classical music or poetry or literature or architecture or painting, something amazing seems to have happened at that time. Because of which, if we look at the average menu of say 100 Carnatic recitals, we find that the compositions which dominate the list would be definitely Sri Tyagaraja first, then Dikshitar and then a few others, mostly from this time period. But the fact is that there was music before them and there is music, there continues to be music after their time also. I was always interested in uh, widening my horizons and not just looking at one spot, understanding more, because of which I had the pleasure and the privilege and honor of spending 18 years with the legendary Dr. Mangalampalli Balamutli Krishna sir, who also had an open and exploratory mindset. The very big advantage he had was that he was a native Telugu speaker. So when Tyagaraja is the number one uh, sung, often repeated composer in Carnatic music and so many of his songs are in Telugu, if the singer has no idea about Telugu, well, you know what happens uh, or maybe you don't know. So I didn't know definitely because I didn't speak Telugu. Even now I can't say I speak Telugu but after joining Balamurla Krishna sir and seeing the kind of care and respect that he would give lyrics in any language, be it Kannada or Tamil or Telugu, even Malayalam. I started learning more and more, at least the word by word meanings of the compositions that I sang. And then I discovered, uh, because of my association with him and with uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, I discovered that there are so many great composers from that part of our country who are not as well known as Sri Tyagaraja. And one of the top the top two would be probably Talapaka Annamacharya, who is parallel with Purandradasa as Purandradasa being Sangeeta Pitamaha and Annamacharya being Pada Kavita Pitamaha. These two are like the sun and the moon. Uh, along with Annamacharya, one of the most popular and amazing composers of all time is this gentleman called Kancharla Gopanna. And if you haven't heard of Kancharla Gopanna, I also hadn't. <laughs> heard of him, he is none other than Bhadrachala Ramadasa. If you just take um, to bring things to our current time, which not current time, 40 years ago, more than 40 years ago, there was a movie called Shankarabharanam, which uh, the subject was South Indian classical music. Though there have been so many movies before and after uh, featuring classical music and classical dance, the kind of impact that Shankarabharana movie made all over South India, even now it remains after 40 years. And in that there is a small song. Paluke Kodanda Pani. One song. Or there is another one. Inavam Shotamarama. This is also from that. But though these two songs are not by the lyricist of the movie, they are Badrasal Ramadasa songs. But because of the movie, these two songs kind of saw light of the day all over South India. But there are so many more songs, beautiful songs and Badrasal Ramadasa had a very uh, colourful kind of life where he enjoyed greatest success and recognition, luxury, everything on the one hand and a lot of anguish and torment and even physical abuse when he was thrown in jail and beaten up for more than a decade. So it's a very 
complex character and like Tyagaraja, he had a very personal, intense and emotional equation with his Lord Sri Rama. And all those things, though we don't have letters and video of, of him, if we go into the compositions, we can really connect to the spirit of the composer very, very much more than one what one would expect with somebody who lived uh, probably three centuries ago. So the reason for making this video is that on Saturday, the 23rd of July, Char Sur Art Foundation of Chennai is planning to organize a three hour teaching session by me with only select and very very special and beautiful compositions of Kancharla Gopanna slash Bhadra Chala Ramadasa. Normally my online sessions mostly have been in the evening uh, Indian time but this is morning Indian time 9.30 IST to 12.30 in the afternoon. So those of you who live in America for example, if you can stay up a little late, you are most welcome to attend. And this is very very convenient for those of you who are in Singapore and Malaysia and Japan and Australia and places like that. So please uh, feel welcome to register and uh, join this uh, teaching session the way I have register, registered and benefited from uh, my gurus for uh, such a long time. Uh, you can register in the link given below the video. Uh, I find that many people who check videos on their phone are not aware that you press the little arrow there and then you can get the video description down. So many times I give some information and then I get a message saying asking exactly the question, uh, the point which I have given in the description. So I hope you figure that out. I am not very good at technology myself. So let us all spend a very very nice time with Bhadrachala Ramadasa on Saturday 23rd of July thanks to Charsol Foundation. Bye.